Hey, we are QOTD, and this is our daily recap show. QOTD is the mobile game show where you get to be on the air. Just record your own video answers to our awesome daily questions. And make sure to vote for your favorite answers to determine who makes it to the weekly Big Show Championship. That happens on Thursdays at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time. We're going to show you how to make it on the air for that Thursday Big Show. And we're also going to take a look at one of our favorite fan answers to today's question. If you are a country music fan, there's a little artist named Tim McGraw, and he's got a song called Live Like You Were Dying. And it's about skydiving and bull riding and being a better partner. And that's what we're talking about today. Very good hint. Very good hint. Love some Tim McGraw. Um, but first, before we get into today's question, I think we can take a look at some of our answer leaders so far this week. And so let's begin that with Friday's question, which is, what is your most memorable concert or music festival? I think I have a couple of good concerts um, that I've seen in my lifetime, but I think one that's going to happen later this year that I think is going to take my top spot is Beyonce. I'm seeing her yeah. later this year and I am pumped. It's going to be so fun. Yeah, that would be a segue into today's question of the day, if it were, but it's not, because next is Saturday's question, which is, what is a weird superstition of yours? I've got a ton of them, but my favorite was best said by the character Swearingen from the show Deadwood, where he said, don't announce your plans unless you want to hear God laugh. <laughs> Here are the top three answers for Sunday's question, Alien versus Predator, Homer Simpson on Family Guy. What's the best crossover or cameo ever? What did you guys like to see in the movies or what surprised you on TV? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, Batman had all the best cameos as far as I'm concerned. Ah, yeah. Old school. Yeah, Don Rickles would show up. All the, all, the, all the great, Phyllis Diller, the great ones. Yeah, the one I always think of is, um, I heard a lot about Prince and New Girl, because apparently he was a huge fan of the show, which, if Prince loves your show, I think you've won at life, basically. <laughs> oh, I think I need to watch that show now. <laughs> exactly. Well, actually, I think um, having a Prince cameo on your show is a pretty good segue into today's QOTV question, mm -hmm. which I think we can drum roll before we announce it. Drum roll. <laughs> what bucket list item will you complete this year? Oh, yes. So, ha having pancakes with Prince could be one of those. Oh. <laughs> Too late for that, unfortunately. Well, I, I got to say that that for mine, I like all this daredevil stuff. Uh, but you know what I would really like to see? And it's going to be, it's like weird and kind of geeky, but I want to see the Northern Lights. I've never seen it. I've done like a ton of camping. You guys know me, like I'm always out. But I've never gone far enough north in order to see that eerie glow in the sky. And I'm like... That's got to happen. Oh, my gosh. Keith, we could combine this with a QOTD from last week, which was who would you take on your dream road trip? And you can take all of us and we'll all go com complete your bucket list item and we'll see the Northern Lights together. What do you think? I, I love this whole plan. And if only we could bring Prince, it would be cold. <laughs> <laughs> so close, so close. I was at the, yeah, I'm thinking I kind of agree, though. I think skydiving was on my list, but I think the daredevil stuff, it's like that's that's another level. I think for me, I want to learn how to list, whistle like this. Like if you do the, whoosh, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Maybe it should be higher on my priority list. How will you ever call your dog and learn how to do the dog whistle? Huh? Exactly. It's so practical. Yeah. No, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it later this year. I'll show up on the show one day and I'll be I'll do that as like my little intro thing, and they'll be blown away. Watch it. <laughs> Exactly. We have our incredible answers to today's question, but we also have a lot of really great answers from fans, even though the question is just a few hours old. So I thought we could take a look at one of our early favorites from answers from across the world. So receiving the honor of best bucket list, we have KB's answer. Let's take a watch. Okay. A bucket list item that I probably will complete this year, hopefully before the year is over, is me having a career job. Now, I juggled around in a lot of temporary jobs, but as far as a career, you should know what that is. That's a long-term job that you can grow in. 
and I'm hoping before the end of the year that if I have everything together, I'm going to have a career. You know what? I love this answer because it's so aspirational. Like anybody can go and pay for an experience, right? But he's actually on his bucket list. He wants to make moves. You know, he wants to make things happen for himself. I love that. Yeah, it's not like the usual rhymes with bucket list, bucket list item. It's like something which is for real. And I got to say that, you know, I'm talking about what I would like to go and see, but really the kinds of things that I think about, like I've got to get done are mostly about, you know, making sure that my kids are launched and, you know, is everybody okay around me and like handling your obligations to yourself and to others. So I, I, I like his approach. There's a lot of truth in that. Yeah, no, and especially also a career is something that is a huge part of a lot of people's lives. So it's not just something aspirational, it's also just something that people will have for the rest of their lives, basically, mm -hmm. or at least for a good portion of their lives. So congrats, go KB, good luck KB. Yes, good luck. Good. Yes. Well, we have our amazing answer to today's question, but as we've highlighted, today's question is not the only one you can answer. We have three other ones so far, and another amazing answer to Friday's question, which was, what was your most memorable concert or music festival? I'm very proud of this pun receiving the honor, in honor of the recent news that there's might be a fire Festival 2. Yeah, yeah. We have the honor of most fire Festival going to McKee for her answer. My most memorable concert would have to be Usher in my hometown, Las Vegas. It was my very first time attending a concert and the tickets were comped by my sister as a gift, so it was great. Usher in Las Vegas, free tickets. <laughs> Has to be the fan favorite. Exactly. Yeah. Also, three, uh, three, best three things. Usher, Usher, Usher. <laughs> <laughs> Well, fans, you've got four days left to submit your own answers for your very own chance to appear on our Thursday Big Show. That's our super fun finale. It's hosted by Keith J.J. Reed and I. We go over the best of the best videos of the whole week. It's every Thursday at 8.30 a.m. on YouTube, Twitch, or right here at beyondtheair.com. To record your answer for that big show, you can go to beyondtheair.com and click the orange record button under the 24-7 live game stream. Remember, you can still answer today's question or any of this week's other questions for your chance to tell us about your best concerts, your bucket list for 2023, or for your chance to be on the air with us. Yeah, we totally want to hear your answers, but you know recording is not the only way that you can play. While you're on beyondtheair.com, you can also play our guess and bid game where you bid stars on the videos that other people have recorded to see which of the ones that you think are gonna win. And if you get that right, uh, you get stars to help you move up the leaderboard. Like these guys, you could be on the air this way. Thanks everyone for joining us and a very special thank you to everyone who's watched, voted and recorded so far this week. We are QOTD and beyondtheair.com signing off and we'll see you on TV. Bye everyone. Bye. I still can't do it. <laughs>